Is your marketing agency looking to acquire more customers? Do you want to ensure that the customers you do acquire are the right ones? Do you want a scalable and repeatable sales process? If you answered yes to any of the above, here's where all the successful agencies start. A good client discovery playbook. Here's something that not everyone knows. The point of a discovery call isn't to close a deal. This rarely happens in bigger deals. You can't prescribe until you've diagnosed. To create the best solutions, you have to understand your client's business, objectives, and more. An inefficient discovery process leads to low revenue and poor customer retention, and it hampers your agency's long-term potential for growth. The worst thing you could do for a discovery meeting is wing it. The more prepared you are, the better. The discovery playbook should include research of the prospect's business and industry, review past communications, and develop a list of questions to ask. When it comes to how long you should prepare, it depends on the scope of the project. I'd say it ranges from 30 minutes to three hours, depending on the scope of the project. That's not considering bid-based clients, though. In-depth proposals can take two team members up to two full days each. But generally speaking, one-to-one -one is a minimum. So if your meeting will be an hour long, you should prepare for at least one hour. But a note of caution, spending too much time can backfire. Spending too much time researching a client ahead of a discovery call can also backfire. Quite often, what you can see about a client through their existing marketing and online presence has little bearing on where they want to go or the goals they want your support in reaching. So be careful not to waste your time. You'll also need to decide whether the meeting will be hosted virtually or in person. A Zoom meeting is more convenient and allows you to share your screen and share information easier, but technical difficulties may disrupt the meeting flow, and some prospective clients are more distracted over Zoom. In-person meetings give a more personal touch and help build trust and rapport more quickly than virtual meetings, but they're not always an option for everyone and can be more inconvenient to schedule. Send out a meeting agenda that sets the tone and lays out the purpose of the initial conversation. Make sure the client knows that you will be asking questions to better understand their business and their needs. Use the initial few minutes of the discovery call for the introductions and to reiterate the agenda. Next comes the critical part of the call, the discovery playbook itself. Ideally, you will have prepared your questions beforehand, but don't get too caught up in sticking to the same standardized questions. Let the conversation happen organically, but don't let it veer off course either. The best agency salespeople are focused on what the client is saying and taking notes to ensure that all the information important to the client is captured. In most cases, we hear clients mention important info that might not have ever come up if we were to use a set of canned questions. Use open-ended questions, and once you have a good understanding of the client's needs and goals, use more specific questions to clarify and uncover new information. The goal here is to completely understand the prospect's business pain points, clearly know the prospect's decision-making process, use information from the above to confirm agency client fit, demonstrate your value, and secure the next meeting to submit a proposal that the convinced prospect will sign off on. So how do we get there? By developing a playbook with the right questions and then listening intently. Our popular blog post on the topic dives into nine important questions to ask. Head over there for a complete explanation. Find a link in the description or comment section below. As you go through the discovery playbook questions, be prepared to handle difficult topics. Understand their concerns and propose solutions that meet their needs while still staying within your agency's capabilities. Once you get to the end of this call, it is absolutely essential to close it with next steps. If the call went well, your follow-up meeting should be finalized during the call. If everyone leaves with full knowledge of the next steps and a positive, expectant outlook on the project, we've succeeded. Follow up after the call with an email thanking them for their time, recap what you covered in the call along with a call recording, and provide the agenda for the next meeting. If the call wasn't a smashing success and you didn't finalize a follow-up meeting during the discovery call, call or email with potential next steps, which could include more questions or even an intention to work with them later when your services are the right fit for their business. Find more about this on our blog, which covers the discovery playbook in even more detail, including a deeper dive on the questions to ask during the meeting and how the discovery process is central to your broader sales motion. If you found this helpful, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification button to stay updated on our future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.